It's a great time in the fall here in Northeast Ohio. Every year it's a different journey and it's all of it. I love all of it, from the training and conditioning to the wins and the losses, everything about it. I know it becomes pretty much your whole weekend. You look forward to the games, you look forward to camaraderie with all of the parents, and it just brings everybody together for a common good. Everything around Youngstown is football. I light up every time you say football. I, I, I love it. There's a lot of kids, you know, from the inner city, you know, they, they, look, they look forward to this, you know what I mean? This is all that they have. Sports in this community are almost like a culture. It's almost like another thing that you just do. The rough grass and, and the cars have their headlights shining on the field to light up the, the field for the kids to finish practice kind of embodies what, what Youngstown's all about. People mention Youngstown, Ohio in the most deteriorating fashion. They talk about the crime rates, crumbling businesses, low incomes, and so on. But those people don't live here. Those people don't know. When August begins in Youngstown, this month symbolizes everything that is the steel-collar blue town. Those from the city, still living there or have moved on, come together for the most common love. Ready, set! Football is more than football. something to enjoy as we get older and from the time we were youths to us as adults having our kids do the same things is just that's incredible to me that's that's a great feeling to me football is life you know I've learned so many things you know from football and uh, you know I've learned how to deal with people you know from football I've just had a couple kids that I think uh, that football uh, has made them become into a man. Um, something that you can't teach. On Friday nights, is everybody going to the football game, you know, then it makes the kids play a little harder, I think, when they know they got their whole community on their back. You know, it brings families together, it gets kids off the streets. It, um, I mean, it gets, it gets the entire city um, to kind of go together, even when you're playing against each other. I mean, it's what people talk about. It's, 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 it's our way of life around here. And if, I mean, if we didn't have sports, there'd be a whole lot of trouble. And, and, you know, I think that it keeps this area safe and makes this area what it is. Everyone around us, the neighbors, you know, down the street, up the street, across the street, was all, you know, all football, all sports. And it was, it was really huge in the way I tracked and, and planned my life. Football, it's it just, it's a special bond that we have here. It's hard to explain what we have, but the bonds that you make with, with your football teammates uh, are like brothers. All the guys, I mean, I don't have any brothers, but I have countless number of brothers from Little League football to now that I'm just fortunate and blessed to uh, meet met the people along the way. 
it's a tough town, no doubt, and um, it's a steel mill, blue collar football town. And yeah, I don't know any other way to live. I don't abandon what you're supposed to do. Uh, that's what we're watching for. Got it? No matter what athlete, professional, collegiately, or even high school, one favors while the other roots for somebody else, nearly all of those players begin small. Some start at West Catholic, led by Ken Kohler. The former Division I player has mentored the 5th and 6th grade Crusaders for the past 23 years. As one former player put it, Youngstown is known for producing great athletes. Coach Kohler is known for producing great men. It's not just me and the kids. You know, it's me, the kids, it's me, the kids' parents, it's the kids' brothers and sisters. You know, we create an environment that's friendly for everyone, and, and everyone, like, and anyone, if they enjoy being here is what it, what it all boils down to. He means a whole lot to a whole lot of people in this area that went through his program because of the way he is himself. He's a good person, and he does good things for, for a lot of young kids. What he preached outside of football is who he is at this field. He's the same person, believe it, he lives it off the field as he does on the field, and that's so admirable. You know, I can't be one person when I'm at home or at work and change when I come to this football field. You know, I have to have those traits within me because these kids could see, I don't care how young they are, they could see through a fake character. They could see through, you know, some big phony guy down here talking one thing and does another. So I have to pattern my life accordingly. I mean, he teaches you a lot about football, just the fundamentals, and, and the most part, uh, he has fun and he lets you have fun. And I remember those being some of the most fun I ever had playing football, just running around and enjoying life. Coach Kohler, he means so much to all of us. We still talk about him to this day. and He teaches you how to carry yourself, how to be respectful, how to be confident, how to be tough, um, but most of all, how to enjoy it all at the same time. Well, you do them right all the time. Winning is a habit, unfortunately, so is losing. All right, let's go. Guys, hear it? What's it mean? Winning is not a sometime thing, it's an all the time thing. We read from a Vince Lombardi book, uh, Lombardi, uh, Motivation Lombardi style it's called. Uh, every night of practice we read from that. Every day we read a book, uh, someone read a quote from a book, and then we had to do Green Bay Grass. I'll never forget that, as old as I live. Uh, that's just something that, like I said, the first time I played football that I started doing. Got it? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Football means everything in Youngstown, Ohio. It's a springboard into life. It just is. I mean, if you want your son to succeed, no better way to hone those skills than to be involved in Little League football. It gives them a sense of belonging because I noticed it with even before I had kids with my students. The kids that, you know, tended sometimes to kind of go off the beaten path and kind of get into trouble, they were usually kids that were not a part of a connected team or a connected group of people. And I just think it gives, it's a good, good way to stay focused and stay where you need to be going. You have to learn to live with the ups and downs of the game, of the decisions other people make with your life. You know, getting cut and how do you deal with that? Well, you, like, you don't go home and cry about it, you go home and work harder and good things will happen. It's done a whole lot, but I think most of all, it's, it's made me the man that I am. It teaches you all the fundamentals that you're going to need for whether you play football, whether you play basketball, or if you just go and don't do any sports, it'll teach you how to become a better person. Um, I think we tried to, to, to balance the risks with the rewards. I think there's a lot of things that um, are positive that come out of the game of football. It's a, it's a hard sport, uh, but life's hard. Every day I go by, uh, you know, that field where uh, we used to practice, I just kind of smile and something may pop up into my mind uh, from practice one day or a memory I had. Even I can even go back way to when I was in Little League, all the way up to high school. I can still remember them. And I got the old tales that I tell my boys, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it'll, it'll, it's something that you never can, can never get took away from you. You'll always remember it. We talk to the kids, we get to know the kids, we get to know their family, we stress how family is important. Uh, like I said, it's not only about football, but, but we go the extra miles to, mile to, to learn about the kid, 
learn the family, and, uh, and get to know them and have fun with them. That's all I can recall as a youth. It was just football, Friday nights, going to games, being involved in the games, and there's nothing better. And that's just Youngstown.